All right, good. we are on page 19, number four of our review here for um, unit 11, and we're doing difference of squares. So for difference of squares, we want to make sure we have two terms with subtraction and perfect squares. And here in A, we definitely do. So we're going to go ahead and put in our uh, two parentheses there. And we take the square root of the first term, the square root of 25x squared is 5x. And that will go in the first slot for each parenthesis. The square root of 1 is 1. That'll go in the second slot. And then one of them will have an addition sign, and one will have a subtraction sign. And that's our final answer. Okay, letter B, same thing, two terms, negative 81 and 100 are both perfect squares. So we can drill our two parentheses. The square root of 81x squared is 9x. The square root of 10 is 1, I'm sorry, the square root of 100 is 10. We'll have one with a, an addition sign and one with a subtraction sign. Okay, here two terms, subtraction, 1x squared and 121 are both perfect squares. Um, so we can take our square roots. Square, square root of 1x squared is x. Square root of 121 is 11. One of them will be addition and one will be subtraction. Okay, number five, it says factor the following completely. So here you're gonna have to decide what is best to do. So if we look at letter A, it's a trinomial, so that should mean split the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So three times 16, we're gonna find all of our factors of 48. So obviously three and 16 would work. Um, four and 12, two and 24, What else are we missing? 2, 3, 4, 6, 48, 6 and 8. I think that's all of them. So then if we look at which one of these would add to a negative 14, we're going to have to make these options negative because a negative times a negative would be a positive. Negative 6 and negative 8 will add to negative 14. So I'm going to split our middle term into negative 6x minus 8x. We'll keep our positive 16 at the end and our 3x squared at the front. And from here, it's just grouping. We can divide out a 3x from our first set. So we're left with x minus 2. Once we divide, we'll divide out a negative 8 from our second set. And we know what we want it to be negative because this parenthesis starts with a negative. So we want to get that out of there. We're left with x minus 2. So we want our parentheses to be the same, and they are. So that's one factor. The other factor comes from our GCFs. 3x minus 8, we'll put those together, and that's our final answer. Okay, letter B, we have two terms in subtraction, but 2 and 288 are not uh, perfect squares, so we cannot do difference of squares here. But let's go ahead and try GCF with 2, because 2 goes into 2 and it goes into 288. So we're going to divide out a 2, and so we'll see what happens here if there's anything else that we can do. So 2x squared over 2, my 2's cancel, I'm left with x squared. Negative 288 over 2 is negative 144. Okay, so we just did GCF on that one. 
we're also going to be able to do difference of squares because on the inside, now we have um, something that we can take the square root of. So we'll keep our GCF of two. The square root of x squared is x. The square root of 144 is 12. One of them positive, one negative. And that'll be all for that one. Okay, letter C. We do have subtraction in two terms, but two and 10 and all of these variables going on, we can't do difference of squares with that one. But we can definitely do GCF here. So if we look at what we have, we can divide a two out. We can also divide an x squared. We have y squared and y, so we can divide out a y to the first as well. Okay, so our GCF goes out front. Twos divide out, x squareds divide out, we're left with y. Negative 10 over two is negative five. x squareds out and y's are out. So we're left with just y minus 5 on the inside. Okay. Whoops. Letter D here has three terms, so we're going to go ahead and try split the middle. Sorry guys, it's not focusing for me. Give me just a second. There it goes. Okay, so I'm going to, oops, sorry group, give me just a second. Okay group, we should be good now, so sorry about that. Okay, so with this first one, it's three terms, so this is split the middle. This will be a quick version of split the middle. So we'll do one times negative 32. We'll find all of our factors of negative 32. Let's see, 15, so it'd be 16. What else do we have? Um, Eight, okay, so here, if we do, if we want to add to negative four, negative eight and positive four would get us there. Now, since this x squared is all by itself, we don't need to split the middle, group, do all of that. We can go straight to the final answer of x minus eight, x plus four. So when that x squared is all by itself, well, it has a one in front of it, but if it has a one in front of it, you can go straight to the end. You don't have to do the whole split the middle process. Okay, letter E is four terms, so this is grouping. We'll go straight into grouping here. We can divide out an x squared from both terms. So we're left with 2x minus 1. Here we can divide out a positive 6. So we're left with 2x minus 1 there. So 2x minus 1 is a factor, x squared plus 6 makes our final factor. Okay, letter F, this is uh, two terms. Oh, I forgot to write grouping up here. This is two terms with subtraction, and 9 and 49 are both perfect squares. So we can do difference of squares on this one. The square root of 9x squared is 3x. The square root of 49 is 7. One of them will have addition and one will have subtraction. 